I'm now going to create my leopard print design using the Gel Ace products from Essential Nails. The first colour I'm going to use is Natural Glow and we're going to apply two coats of that to the nail. Already prepped and based. Again, applying thin layers so you don't want them going on too thickly. Making sure capping the sides and the free edge. Cure under the lamp for 45 seconds. Now I'm going to apply the second coat of Natural Glow. It's a very nice pale colour. Capping everything. Free edge on the sides. And cure again for another 45 seconds. Right now, I'm going to add a little bit of whoopie pie. Pop a little bit into your palette. You don't need much really because you're only using this for an effect for the backdrop of the nail. And I'm just going to dab it on using the side of the brush. It doesn't really matter how messy you are because you're going to pull it all down into streaks anyway. So just bring your brush lightly, streaking it through, just giving the background a little bit of texture. Don't make it too thick. Just spread it out, all going in one direction as well. Cure under the lamp for 45 seconds. Now we're going to put some sun kissed onto the nail. So we're going to take the sun kissed, pop a little bit on the palette. I'm just going to use my dotting tool for this one because you just need some random circles. It doesn't matter what the shape is, just randomly over the nail, no particular pattern. Again, using the dotting tool helps manoeuvre the gel a lot more easier, I find, than the brush. But everyone's different, each to their own. It doesn't matter sort of how light or dark it is either, because as you find on any animal, it's all different shades, and it all gives the same effect. Cure it under the lamp for 45 seconds. Now, we are going to use Jet. Again, placing a little bit on your palette. Take your detail brush and pop it in to the jet and just, in no particular way, just either general sort of C shapes or backward Cs and they don't have to be neat either. And then sometimes a tiny little spot around there and maybe a dot in the middle. There's many ways you can do it. You can do sort of three parts around, so do one maybe at the top another bit there and somewhere a little bit darker again it doesn't sort of matter about the consistency and so it all gives the same sort of effect anyway you don't always have to put a dot inside either as you can see i've not done them on a few other nails now for a bit more texture to the background you just get a tiny bit it doesn't matter how much of the polish and just sort of random bits here and there for more texture. It doesn't matter if you're running out of paint because it all works together. Just fill in any gaps. Cure under the lamp for another 45 seconds. And finally, a top coat. Making sure you cover all of the nail and all of the design so not to lose any of your colour when you wipe. Capping. And in for the final cure. Taping, taking your wipe off solution, final wipe. Obviously, if you're on a client, you'll be using cuticle oil afterwards. And there we have the leopard print design. <laughs>